Do you know the rarest resource on Coruscant? My boy? I? I'm not sure. Sky. Down here, the sun is a myth. Sheev Palpatine and Anakin Skywalker. Referring to Coruscant's underworld located in the Coruscant subsector of the Coruscant sector within the Core Worlds region, Coruscant was a planet covered in a dense ecumenopolis. The diameter of Coruscant was 12,240 kilometers. It orbited a small star, known as Coruscant Prime, in the Coruscant system. The distance between Coruscant and its star varied from 207 to 251 million kilometers, and as such, the planet did not have a climate that suited any one particular species. However, this was rectified by technology and the vast heat generated by the multi-level cityscape. Coruscant had four moons, CENTAX-1, CENTAX-2, CENTAX-3, and Hesperidium. From space, Coruscant's luminosity was slightly dimmed by the planet's hazy cloud cover. The planet's weather patterns were affected by the troposphere-piercing buildings that covered the planet's surface. Inside the tallest buildings, enormous differences of temperature and air pressure from top to bottom produced unusual and unpredictable microclimates. As such, Coruscant had its own weather control system. Thousands of years of development destroyed the planet's ancient mountains and seas. Monument Plaza housed the top of Coruscant's last remaining mountain peak, that being the peak of the Umate. The tallest mountain of the Manurai range, many people decided to come to the surviving mountain top, as it could be touched on level 5216, to have a moment of reflection. By around 232 BBY, a dark ring surrounded the peak's base as a result of the countless hands that had touched the rock. Generations of city planners decided to keep the mountain peak. During the High Republic era, the surface around the peak was covered in greenery in an attempt to recreate the trees and other plants that would have been around the Umut's base many millennia earlier. Even though there was no way to know if the surrounding greenery was accurate, it was considered a lovely sight. There were 24 hours in a Coruscant day, and 365 days in a Coruscant year. Owing to its importance in galactic history, the galaxy used a dating system standardized on Coruscant, and the planet's galactic coordinates were 000 despite it not being the exact geographical center of the galaxy.